This is my video tutorial to go over adding and subtracting linear expressions. It's chapter 3.2 in your textbook. Please follow along with. First off, a linear expression. A linear expression is an algebraic expression in which the exponent of the variable is 1. Examples of linear expressions would be uh, 2x, because you can see that the linear expression um, the exponent of the variable is 1. x by itself has an exponent of 1. Uh, another one, negative 4 times x. A variable by itself has an exponent of 1. 5x plus 3 has a exponent, the variable has an exponent of 1. And even if I have an expression like this, where it's 2 squared, um, I have an exponent in here, but it's not applied to my uh, to my variable. The exponent of the x is still 1. Nonlinear expressions would look like this. Um, if I have x squared, notice how the exponent is 2. If I have negative 7x, well, this one is an exponent of 1, but this one, uh, x cubed, has an exponent of 3 x to the fifth plus 1 has an exponent of 5. And so first we need to know what a linear expression is. And next we're going to talk about how to add and subtract. <clears throat> so you can use vertical or horizontal methods to add. Um, first, the vertical, vertical method. It's stacking like you add, um, add multi-digit numbers. So align like terms vertically just like you align the um, place values vertically, and add. So an example, if I have x minus 2 plus 3x plus 8, I can put my x terms above each other, so x and 3x, and negative 2, or minus, I apply that instead of subtracting, I add the opposite, minus 2 and plus 8 above each other, and I can add. So negative 2 plus 8 gives me 6. And this is 1x. Oh, uh, after I put the 6, I know it's positive, so I put plus, because the expression is going to be adding 6. And I know x by itself is 1x, so I add 1x plus 3x gives me 4x. And 4x plus 6 gives me my answer. My next problem, uh, 4 minus x plus 2 times the quantity negative 5x plus 3. First, I'm going to want to use the distributive property here. That's going to allow me to uh, get rid of this coefficient multiplying to my, uh, to my expression. I multiply 2 times negative 5 and 2 times 3. I end up with 4 minus x plus the quantity negative 10x plus 6. And I can put those uh, expressions above each other and add them. So 4 plus 6 gives me 10. Negative x is negative 1x. I end up with negative 11x. Uh, let's go over the horizontal method next. So horizontal method is what we've been doing so far. Uh, we're going to use the distributive property and combining like terms to simplify. So it's it just good to go over this to see what exactly to do in um, certain situations. A uh, common one is you have nothing being multiplied in for this uh, section. And if I don't have anything being multiplied in, no distributive property is needed. Um, so you get rid of the parentheses. So parentheses, you can just get rid of if nothing's being multiplied in. And then I can combine like terms. So my like terms here are negative 4y and positive 10, 11y. And then also 3 and negative 5. So when I combine those like terms, I get 7y, because negative 4 plus 11 is 7. And then... 3 plus negative 5 gives me negative 2. So my answer is, I, I can simplify this to being 
7y minus 2. Another example, if I have 7w minus 6 plus 5 times the quantity negative 2.4w plus 1, I'm going to first want to use the distributive property uh, is needed to get rid of the parentheses. So once I use the distributive property, I can get rid of those parentheses. And I just write it out as, that's so all I'm going to be multiplying. 5 times negative 2.4 and 5 times 5 times 1. I end up with 5 times negative 2.4 gives me negative 12 um, and 5 times 1 gives me 5. Now I'm going to combine like terms to get uh, to get everything simplified here. 7w plus negative 12w and negative 6 plus 5. I end up with negative 5w and then minus 1. That's my answer. Let's go uh, talk about when you subtract. So just as all the subtraction we've been doing this year, um, to subtract linear expressions, add the opposite. So you look towards the opposite of the um, term to the to the right. So example, 5x plus 6 minus the quantity negative x plus 6. So I'm going to apply this, instead of subtracting, I'm going to add the opposite of what's inside here. So this becomes 5x plus 6 plus, instead of negative x, it's positive x because I apply that negative to the negative x and it becomes positive and instead of positive 6 it becomes minus 6 or instead of plus 6 it becomes minus 6 and then I can solve this using our uh, previous tools. Another example if I had 7y plus 5 minus 2 times the quantity 4y minus 3 I'm gonna have <coughs> uh, 7y plus 5 plus, and the opposite of positive 2 here is negative 2. I'm going to be multiplying negative 2 times the uh, time, what, times what's inside these parentheses. Please let me know if you have any questions. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others.